Good morning and welcome back. It's Saturday, it's the 11th I think. Don't trust me when it comes to that. Uh, it's about quarter to nine and I'm in the shop but I'm not gonna open up just yet. I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'll see if my sister-in-law's in and have a chat with her first. It's now about 20 past nine and I've been chatting to my sister-in-law far too long. I need to get on with some actual work. I've got all the stuff outside. So yesterday was wow incredibly quiet in the morning i opened at nine because i like to be here at nine quite often and um by two o'clock i'd taken 12 pounds but then i had a little run of customers in the afternoon including michelle who popped in so hello michelle i hope you had a safe journey home um so yeah it didn't end up too bad it wasn't great but it wasn't too bad so my fingers crossed people are going to come out today. Um, one of the things I did yesterday while it was quiet was I decided to take all the metal signs off my website. And the reason I did that is because the website clogs up with you've got too many listings on there, too many photos, and I've, I've barely sold signs on there. People use it as a reference and then we'll come in, but I just needed to free up some space so I can get more saleable stuff on there. So... That was my reasoning behind it and i did a few other admin -y jobs as well uh i did get some stuff brought in but i've already processed it i got this bedpan i got a brass like coal bucket an old copper kettle that kind of thing so i've already put those out i also got some um letter openers a whole box full of mainly letter openers. I've taken them upstairs to clean them up and sort them out a bit, but I have bought a few downstairs to work on today, so I'll maybe show you that later. I also got some things in from eBay that I took a little video of, so I'll insert that here. It's Friday afternoon, and I just thought I'd show you these before I put things away. So this was a little lot that I got on eBay, a little auction lot. I think it cost me about seven quid um and the reason i bought it was mainly for these two but i knew that i'd probably get a fiver back for this it's just a little pot lined with blue velvet i'll put that out for sale and then these are nice for displaying things so this one's for earrings it's just a really nice box and a ring box as well And then a couple of other boxes as well, which are a bit more modern, which will be useful if I can get into it with one hand. It's one for earrings and another one for earrings. So they're useful for me to display nicer pairs. And then I also got this eBay lot. So this cost me about £13. When I said £7, I was including postage and everything. And this was about 13 or 14 pounds including postage but i thought i'd probably get a tenner for the box because i think that's really quite nice silk covered so it opens up like this and i've got a few bits and bobs inside so let's see if i get my money back let's pull it open pull everything out let's pull everything out So I can put that out for sale. And then I've got these. What do you think? A little green. It doesn't feel cold. That's weird. It doesn't look like plastic, but what do you think that is? Any ideas? I'll take some of these things out of the bags and then I'll switch it back on. What I like about this is I'll reuse everything. So the box that this came in, I've already used to package up another parcel. These bags I'll reuse. Nothing gets wasted. So, some cheap plastic beads. These two, where were we? So, some cheap plastic beads. These funny green ones. They do feel slightly cold. Is that glass? I don't know. I've got a couple of these bracelets. necklace another 
little necklace. Not excited by any of that. That's very retro. Feels very cheap and tinny. <laughs> Might look get good on one of those black backgrounds. You know those black necklace stands that I've got. A couple of big hoops. Now then, they look cute. Be able to sell those. This is nice. It's got a barrel clasp. I like that. And that's pretty. Should be able to sell that. And then those colours are nice, aren't they? And another one, beaded necklace. I find it difficult to sell beaded necklaces, long necklaces, because they're hard to display and really show off. So I think some of this may just be going in a lot to sell again. Or I can put these out. Julie and Christine who all ordered on my website. In fact, Julie ordered quite a lot of wax melts. So I, I contacted the lady who makes wax, makes wax melts for me and uh, ordered some more, even though she'd literally only just brought them in. But I want to have more of the new flavours available and I want to keep a good range in. So if there's a flavour that you can't find on the website at the moment, it may well be on its way back in. It's just Julie's wiped me out. Um, it's about quarter to 12 and yeah. <sighs> let's stay positive. <laughs> I need to find a uh, better signing for these throws. It's a shame I can't really put them out anywhere. But there's no way I can display them. I have taken some photos and put them on my social media. So if you don't follow me on social media, then please do go over to Facebook and Instagram and follow. Thank you. It's about, I don't know, half 12, one o'clock, and I've had another, a busier hour or so, so it's picked up quite a bit. I just thought I'd show you some of these letter openers that i um been sorting through. There was loads, but here's just a selection of some nice wooden ones. This one's got a lovely carved handle. This one, like a feather, is lovely. This one says it's made out of sassafras. That's handmade. This one with the pattern is interesting. And then there's this one from New Zealand, and this one from New Zealand as well. And then these with that, I can never remember what that shell's called or how, is it abalone, alabone, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. So there's that one, and then this one that's shaped like a fish, but it's obviously a bottle opener as well. And then this really simple thing here has got some sort of mark. Can you see just there? But I can't make out what it says, even with my magnifying glass. I realise that I've been a bit of a misery the last week or so. Um, and I need to snap out of it because, yeah, okay, so it's a bit quiet in the shop. But I've got a safe home to live in. My children are all healthy and happy. You know, life could be a lot worse. So I'm looking on the bright side. Um... Yeah, I'm just taking some photos of these letter openers and uh, plodding along, doing a little bit of research, etc. It's gone quiet again now, so that might be it for the day. <laughs> I don't have anything planned for the weekend. Me and my husband have got a few jobs that we need to do tomorrow. And then he's going away for a few days. So, um, quiet one. Oh yeah, I'm meeting my friend on Monday. I'm going to text her, see if she remembered. Uh, what else? Oh! I, uh, last Saturday, when I was a bit cheesed off, I ordered some clothes for two. 
and they arrived yesterday so I might be doing a try on although I cannot remember for the life of me what I've ordered it's a mystery let me know what your plans are this weekend have you got anything exciting happening have you tried out my new soaps yet um yeah I'm gonna love you and leave you it's gone very dark and I don't think I'm gonna have many more customers it's nearly three o'clock so I've got one hour to go so if I say bye now give me a chance to edit this vlog and get it up thank you very much for watching hope you've had a lovely day and have a lovely weekend take care stay safe and I will see you soon Thank you.